Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to Sarojini Smart Learning. So for the last few episodes, you are watching my videos. Thank you very much for thank you for your comments also and for subscribing. Okay. So here in the last episode, we have learned about simple interest. So this is Murari sir, a Vedic Maths successful trainer. Uh, for the last 18 years, I am uh, training the children in mathematics in different modes. Okay, among them, so today we are going to discuss about simple interest. Yeah, in the last exercise also, in the last episode, we discussed about what is simple interest and the story of the simple interest, right? So in this episode also, we are going to learn uh, in detail about how to do the calculations in sums. Okay, now you follow. I, I'll write a question, then I'll explain how to do it. Here there is a question. Now you are going to find out what is simple interest of this given sum. But there is a difference coming to the previous one. What is that? The principal amount is given as 800 rupees. That means you have borrowed 800 rupees from outside. This is the first step. Second is what rate of interest? There is a rate of interest of 6% is the rate of interest. And what is the time period? After uh, how many days you are going to return the back in? 6 months. In the beginning, in the last episode, we are discussing about always the time should be in annually, per annum. For yearly only we should consider, not for months. But the question is given in months. So how you are going to convert uh, in years? So these six months can be written as six by 12 years. This is the first basic thing you are going to learn. Why? Because how many months are there in a year? So 12 months. So 6 by 12 also we can write. Now the simple interest formula is P into T into R by 100. So interest is equal to P is 800 rupees into time is 6 by 12 into R is 6%. So divided by 100 will be remain same. Now what you are going to do with this one? So here two zeros, two zeros get cancelled. What you left? 8 into 6 into 6 divided by 12. So 6 ones are 6 twos are 12 will go. 2 ones are 2 fours are. So what you remain? 4 into 6 into 1 which is equal to rupees 24. That means if you borrow 800 rupees from outside with an interest of 6% per annum, now the time is only 6 months. So you are going to pay extra 24 rupees to the person. That means total amount you are going to give is principal plus interest. So total amount is equal to this is rupees 800 plus rupees 24. This is nothing but 824. You have to return it back to the person from whom we borrow the money. So in this way we can do it. So we we'll check one more question. Okay. Now see the question. You have to find out the simple interest only. Now the principal amount is 12,000 rupees. What is the rate of interest? 18.25. Like if you go in banks, they, they will charge like 8.75, 9.25. In that way, in the decimal format, they will calculate the in rate of interest. So I'm giving an example with the rate of interest in the same pattern. And the time is 150 days. As you know very well, I already told the time always should be calculated on an annum that is yearly wise so if it is in months so we convert into years by divided by 12 because 12 months are there in a, in a year so now the question is given in days so can you guess how many days are there in a year on an average 365 days 365 66 will be different so we take 365 days in a year so here the given number is 150 so i can convert this 150 as 150 by 365 year so so we have to take time in uh, this format so if i take simple interest is equal to as you know the formula p into t into r by 100 so what is interest now p is 12000 here i am not writing rupees because at the end we can write no problem so into uh, time is 150 divided by 365 into rate of interest is 18.25. Okay. So in other words, 
if you convert this 18.25 into other format, if you remove this point, by 100 also we can write. Because 18.25 is in the decimal format. So I am converting the decimal format into the fractional uh, format. So after decimal there are two digits. So divided by 100 it becomes. Now how to calculate this? You have two zeros. You can also get cancelled two zeros. Isn't it? So is there anything other thing to get cancelled? Yes. In 5 table. 5 7s are 35. 5 3s are 15. So here also 5 3s are 15 and 0. So here i is equal to 120 into 30 into 1825 divided by 73. So now we have to check whether it will get cancelled or not. So the thing is, as I told, there are a number of different methodologies in multiplication. So you can calculate the numerator part and divide it by 73. So that will be the amount of a simple interest. So sometimes when the rate of interest is in decimal, the total amount also will come in so rupees and pesos also. In this way, you can convert it. Okay? So we'll check one more question. Okay, now, here, there is another different type of question. Now you are going to find out the principal amount. You don't know principal amount. If you know the principal amount, on that, rate of interest and time is given. So we are used to find out the interest. But here, interest is given, rate is given, time is given, but principal is not given. Again, same formula. I is equal to P into T into R divided by 100. Now, I is nothing but 48 is equal to P you don't know, into time is 3 years and rate of interest is 3. Whole divided by 100. Now, what you are going to do? Is it possible to get cancelled this one? No, which is not possible. So what I will do, P into 3 into 3 divided by 100 is equal to 48. I will write. Why I am doing LHS, I am sending to RHS, RHS I am sending to LHS. Just interchange. Now, we have to find out only P value. Now, P is equal to 48 into 100 by 3 into 3. I will write. Why I am writing 3 into 3? Because the numerator will always come to the denominator side and the denominator will always go to the numerator side in simple equation format. So now P is equal to 3 ones are 3, 3 six are. So this is 16 into 100 by 3. So P is equal to 1600 by 3. That is P is equal to on get cancellation 3 fives are 15, 3 threes are 9, 1 we left, 3 threes are 9. At an average, 533 rupees is the principal amount. So in this way, we can calculate the given format. It may be principal, it may be rate, it may be this one. Okay? We'll check one more question. Now here, you have to find out the time period. The principal amount is 5000. That means which if we borrowed from outside, that is 5000. And the rate of interest is 9%, you know. And the interest is three uh, 6000. 300. For 5,000, you are paying 6,300 as interest. So how much time you took to pay this much big amount? So what is the formula? I is equal to P into T into R by 100. So I means what? 6,300 is given. Okay. What is P? 5,000. What is T? You don't know. And what is R? 9%. Whole divided by 100. So if you get cancelled 2 and 2 zeros, 6300 is equal to 50 into t into 9. So if you interchange, 50 into t into 9 is equal to 6300. Now you are going to find out t. So I will write here, t is equal to 6300 whole divided by the numerators of the left side will come to the denominators on the right side. That is 50 into 9. So this is 9 ones are 9 7 is 63, 0, 0. So t is equal to 700 divided by 50. That is, this will get cancelled. t is equal to 70 by 5. So t is equal to 5 ones are 5, 5 fours are. So 14 years. So the time, always I told you to calculate in years. So if you borrow 50, 5000 rupees at the rate of 9%, so after 14 years, you have to pay 6900. 
So in this way, we are going to calculate simple interest in different different products. If they make you principal, time and rate. So you have to find out interest. Suppose sometimes you have to find out the principal, you have to find out the rate, you have to find out the time also. So I gave examples on those. Hope you understood this content and topic and you can practice with the different different combinations and numbers. So thank you very much for today's class. Welcome.